Hello, and welcome to Top 10 Features of ADS 2023. In this video series, we will talk about all the latest features of ADS release. In the first video, we will talk about data display enhancements, and we have a lot of interesting topic to talk about, so stay tuned till the end of this video. First, let's start talking about Expression Manager and Dataset Organization. To enable Expression Manager, you can go to View menu, and enable the expression manager option or simply press E on your keyboard. The first thing you notice now in expression manager, you have a group called data sets. And once you expand, you have a list of all the data sets which are contained within your workspace, which is a great advantage because now you can pick and choose to plot data from any of the data sets available in your workspace makes it your job much easier. Now, once you have the data to be plotted, you can go ahead and expand the particular data block, select the quantities which you want to plot, for example, S11 to S22 and all the four S parameters. And once you drag and drop those measurements, you can notice multiple plots appearing with my mouse. And once you release your mouse button, click OK. Now you have multiple plots plotted in one action which is a great convenience. Imagine you had 10 or 15 plots to be done and you select all of them, drag and drop. You will have those 10, 15 plots created without any major effort. Pretty cool, right? Now, in the previous release of ADS, if you plot multiple items, all of them used to get plotted on a single graph. If you like that mode of operation, you still have that option by going to settings and by disabling this multiple insert mode. Now, if you select multiple items to be plotted, you drag them over to data display page. Now you have both of these traces plotted on a single graph. So depending on the user preference, you can pick and choose the various modes of operation in the data display. However, the multiple plot mode is the default mode in ADS 2023. All right, now let's talk about Variable Explorer. Variable Explorer makes it very easy to quickly look at the data in a simple table format so that you can understand whether the data you are going to plot is meeting your you know, understanding or not. Also, when you write any equation, for example, if I write any equation on the data display page, for example, here, let's write my var equal to magnitude of S11. Now, if I write any equation, it's not easy to look at the data or look at the output of this equation. And all these jobs will be very easy once we go through Variable Explorer. To enable Variable Explorer, you can go to View menu and simply enable it or press V on your keyboard. Now with the Variable Explorer shown to you at the bottom of the screen, if you select any measurements available in your data set, you can immediately see the table coming up, which is very easy. Also, the equation which you have written will also appear under Expression Manager. And once you select that, you can immediately see the output of your equation here. Make it super easy to look at the data. Now, good story doesn't end here. For example, anything which you are seeing in Variable Explorer can be copy and pasted to an external text tool. Now here you can select either a portion of the data which you want to copy paste an external tool like Excel or simply press Control A, right click, copy. And now you can take it over to Excel or a notepad. For example, here I do have an Excel file open and if I want to paste any data, simply press Control V and the data which you copied over from ADS Variable Explorer can be pasted here. And now you can share this data with your colleagues, customers, or, or your other colleagues. Pretty easy, right? So hopefully you are able to see how easy it is it's to operate on data using ADS 2023 release. Now let's talk about ex adding external data sets or folder because many a times the data which you want to plot is not available in the workspace. It is either kept somewhere in your hard disk or it is somewhere in the network drive. So how can you get access to that data in this data display page for plotting? You can simply right click on the data set. You can either add a folder which contains all your data sets or add a specific data set. Let me show you how adding folder works. Once I click on add folder, you can browse to the location wherever you have the parent folder containing all the data sets. Simply select that folder 
and add it here. Now that folder appears here and all the associated data set is also available. Using any of those data sets, you can go ahead and plot the data like you always wanted. Either you can put side by side comparison or you can overlay the other data set data into the existing graph here. Makes it super easy, super simple. No matter how much is scattered is your data, you have all the access of that starting with ADS 2023. And when your work is done, you no longer require this data. You can simply right click and remove. Now, in case where you have a lot of data sets and this view is getting cluttered, you can switch off all the unreferenced data by simply going to DS menu here and not showing unreferenced data set. Now, you can only see I have one data set in the list and the remaining have been taken away, making it easier for me to read and work through the data. So again, user has all the flexibility to do whatever they want. All right, now let's talk about the limit line and a specification, which is another exciting and cool feature in ADS 2023. So for that, let me go ahead and remove all the plots. And here from expand filter data set, let me go ahead and plot S21 and S12 here on my data display page. Now, once you have these two plots, the point is I would like to have some limit lines and I would like to have some specification to check whether I met my design goal or not. So let's start with putting some limit lines on some of these graphs and then see how can we create a specification out of it. To insert limit line, you can go to insert menu, limit line, and then you can pick a condition for which you need to create a limit line. For example, let me start with less than, and I would like to place two limit lines for my stop band criteria of this filter. So you can go ahead and place them anywhere. Later, we can set it to write X or Y axis. Another limit line I would like to have is for pass band, and here I would use a greater than condition. And now in the data display page, I can go ahead and insert a greater than limit line. Now this limit lines can be extended. It can be shifted by simple mouse track option. Now notice all the three limit lines are purple in color, and it seems we are meeting all the specification put forward by the limit line. Now, the limit line properties can be accessed if you double click on it and go to data points and you can enter proper X and Y data formats to position limit line at your desired location. Another interesting thing you note now under options, limit line have pass and fail criteria. And depending on whether you are meeting the limit line spec or not, you will have different colors, different line times, and this is all user configurable. And right now you can see all limit lines are purple because everything is passing. If I manually change this limit line slightly so that you no longer meet this limit line uh, criteria, you can see it turns red as per our setting here because failure means red. All right, so now once you have limit line, but it's still not convenient because in order to see whether the specifications uh, for this filter performance is met or not, you have to individually keep eye on three limit lines. Instead of that, you can select all the limit line by simply pressing the shift key, right click, and we can create a specification on the fly. And by creating a specification, you can give it any name you want, click OK. And now you can see in the expression manager, you do have a new specification created with the name BPF underscore spec. Now, if you expand the spec, you can see it's a grouping of three limit line. So if you have pass condition in all three, then only BPF will have a pass condition. So if you select BPF, you can see it's failing the spec because one of the limit lines condition is not met. It's pretty cool, right? Now, if you want to have the same specification in any other graph, you can simply drag and drop it over to that graph and make it available there itself. Now, in fact, you can drop, drag and drop the specification on a blank space to create graph just with the limit line. And after you have the simulation result, you can simply drag and drop the measurement over to that graph. So various way of working depending upon what you want to do. So that's all uh, the features I wanted to present in this video. I hope you like all the latest enhancements and you would be considering seriously to migrate to ADS 2023 to get benefit of all these enhancements. Thanks for watching and wish you all the best in your design work.